what you're going to see here is how to make a pinch pot. Now you start by making a ball about this size. This will be a, like a little bowl shaped pinch pot. Okay, and after you get your ball shape made, you want to insert your thumb into the pinch pot. And you want to stop about a quarter of an inch from the back side, so from right there. And then all you do is you start pinching in a circular motion. You want to make sure that the bottom is all the same thickness, about a quarter of an inch. And you start coming up the walls, and you just pinch as you go. You want to make sure that it's all just the same thickness and nice and circular. Okay, if you get any cracks, that's okay. All you need to do is kind of push them down a little bit and together. Then you can just drag your finger over them, or you can just dab at them. You want to go around the lip of your bowl. Make sure it's all the right thickness and kind of smooth it out a little bit. You can smooth it by flattening it or you can get a tool that will do the same thing. Okay, Now, if you were going to just leave it like this with nothing on the bottom and, and smoothed out, okay, you'd be done right there. And what you would do is you just take it and you want to just kind of tap it down on the on your board so it has a nice flat spot on the bottom. You can see that there. So it'll set up just how you want it. Okay, and that's how you'll do your first pinch pot. Okay, now for your second pinch pot, you're gonna make a bowl like you did for your first one. Okay, just like that. And you probably want to smooth it out a little better than this one. Get rid of all those little lumps. And from this point, what you're going to do is you're going to roll out a coil. Okay. To do that, you want to just take a little piece of clay, and you can kind of get the coil started if you want. Just roll it back and forth. You don't need very much. And then you just roll it on your canvas board. You want to go back and forth with kind of a light pressure. You don't really want to push down hard because you want to keep the coil round. If you push down too hard, you start getting these little finger marks, and that won't make for a nice round coil. Okay, so you roll it out. Okay, when it's the length that you'll be able to, when it's long enough, that you'll be able to, to put a foot on the bottom of this, you know, like that right there. Here, I'll cut it. And then it's done, the coil part. Okay, so now I have my coil. It's going to be my foot. And the next part is, I want to score, okay, which is marking the clay in preparation of joining two pieces. So I make my lines one way, I go back across them another way. Okay, so now it's roughed up. This way, when I put the clay together, instead of two pieces going together like this, they'll interlock like that, and they'll be harder to, to separate. Okay, then I take some slip. I just dab that on where, I, where I'm going to need it, okay, which is everywhere the clay is going to be joining. Now, if you want, you can score the bottom or the underside of your coil. It's not real necessary because the, the clay is really wet at this point, but I'll score it just so you can get used to doing that. Anytime you put two pieces of clay together, you want to score it. Okay, and then here, I'll move that a little bit, is you want to push that coil down so that it goes from being bonded like this to really getting good. And you don't need to smash it, but you do want to squeeze it pretty good. Okay. Now, I have that little seam there, and I don't like it very much. So I can just take my, my finger and rub it, and it'll, it'll go smooth. Then along this outside, I don't want to see those those little score marks or even just the slip that looks globbed on there. And I can just take my finger around the edge 
and blend in that. I don't want to lose my foot, but I do want to make it kind of a nice seam. Okay, so there I have a nice seam. Turn it upside down, give it a little tap, make sure it's a nice level foot. I can go back with a wooden rib or a wooden knife and just kind of smooth that out a little bit better, blend in that coil. Any excess clay, when, here I'll show you that again. When, I, when I'm smoothing this out with this rib, I get clay right that kind of build up on the rib. And I don't want that because it'll, it'll cause problems. It, it won't make my, my clay real smooth. So I wipe that on the, the canvas board. And then later on, I'm going to just scrape it off and, and add it to a, another piece of clay. Okay, so now I have that kind of transitioned nicely. I can go back with my finger or I can use a, a metal knife or even a metal rib and just smooth that out really nicely so it looks nice and finished. You can see how that's done. As the clay harden, or dries out, it'll harden a little bit and it'll get a little bit easier to smooth out. And that is your second pinch pot. Right there, sitting on its foot. It's all done. It's smoothed out there. Okay, for our third pinch pot, what you're going to do, is you're going to do it just like the first one. You're going to make your pinch pot. You're going to add a coil on the bottom. Okay. So it looks nice. And then what you're going to do from there is you're going to add a coil around this top lip. Now, one thing you may notice, and I'll turn this sideways so you can see, is that there's little dips and bends and stuff like that in the top of that. And to get rid of those dips and bends, what you're going to do is you're going to roll out a long coil. Make sure it's long enough that it'll go all the way around. And you're going to score the top of your bowl. Okay. So I go one way. I want to make sure that I go the other way. Get some slip out. Just kind of dab that around that top lip. That's way too much there. And then you can just take your your coil and kind of measure it a little bit. Cut the excess off. And you want to push that down. And you'll notice that as, I'm, as I get around to where I cut it, I'm going to have a little bit of extra still. I can cut that off too. I want to make sure that matches. Kind of push down. Okay. My next step is to blend that in. Okay. And kind of pinch at it and smear the clay. And that will get rid of that little part. Go around. Smooth out any crack you might have. You're also going to want to blend in right where the coil touches your pinch pot. Okay, so we're going to keep on smoothing that out. We want to smooth out the inside, and it's kind of nice with this is if you leave that little that little curve there, it just kind of adds a little bit to the to the lip. Okay, so you go back and you want to smooth out the inside too, and then what you're going to do. I'll smooth this out later. As you're going to smooth all this out, get a hoop tool or a wire tool, and you want to, while it's still wet, you want to carve a design. And it could just be kind of random lines and shapes, and you want to carve that all the way around the outside of your pinch pot. 